Welcome back y'all and today we're getting to know the Amano Shrimp. Don't let their small size fool you. If you are looking for one of the hardest working algae eaters around, look no further than the Amano Shrimp. These shrimp will even chow down on black brush and hair algae. These shrimp only get to be around two inches in size and live an average of two to three years. They are generally a translucent gray or brownish color, and they typically will have a line running through the top of their abdomen, along with a series of spots and dashes along their body. Now, when it comes to tank setup, these guys do best in a minimum of a five gallon tank. You will want to take care in choosing your filtration for this tank as Amano shrimp are small and they've been known to get sucked up into powerful filters. So you may need to add something to the outside of your filter to prevent this from happening. Now, Amano shrimp can tolerate a pretty wide range when it comes to temperature and pH. However, they will do best if kept in temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees with a pH between 6.5 and 8 and a GH between 5 and 15. Amano shrimp also do best when they are kept in a very heavily planted tank as they really need many places to be able to hide. Now, keeping this in mind, you'll want to be careful when dosing your tanks with fertilizers as many of them contain copper, which can potentially be very harmful to your shrimp. Now, Amano shrimp are typically very peaceful, but due to their small size, you'll want to take care in choosing tank mates. Always remember, if it fits in a fish's mouth, it's food. Because of their small size and peaceful nature, Amano shrimp are often a popular tank mate for betta fish. Bettas, however, can and may sometimes pick on shrimp, so if you are keeping them with your betta, you may want to keep an eye on them. A few other good examples of tank mates for Amano shrimp can include danios, guppies, platys, white cloud minnows, harlequin rasboras, neon tetras, or corydoras. Now, when it comes to diet, feeding your Amano shrimp could not be easier. Along with consuming any algae and decaying plant material in your tank, they will constantly scavenge your tank for any leftover food from your fish. You will want to take care not to feed any foods to your fish that may contain copper, as once again, copper can be extremely harmful to your shrimp. Now, if there's little to no algae or excess food for your shrimp to feed on, you can also offer them high quality shrimp pellets, fish flakes, algae wafers, and blanched vegetables such as zucchini. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.